Hello? Hello, ring, ring, hello. <laughs> I hope you guys are doing amazing tribe. Welcome to the channel if you're new here. I'm Moon, and guess what? This is Froggy, and he's got a big hug for you today, tribe. Big cuddles, big cuddles. We love that shit. We love that ish. We love that ish. Uh, all right, so today we've got a collective message. Please remember this ain't gonna resonate for everybody. Take a resonance, leave it doesn't, all right? This is the main thing. You are an activator, whoever I'm talking to. You are an activator. And some of you are going through some kind of ending or there was an ending that was a powerful beginning in disguise. So this may have been a relationship that you... This may be a person that you separated from, okay? It could be a habit that you stopped doing or changed. Um some kind of changes in your life right and, and what spirit told me is like in months whenever some kind of ending happened in this collective's life everything changed so within months of you leaving a relationship so many things changed or within months of you changing a habit or switching something in your lifestyle so many things changed okay and this is wild this is wild okay because yeah whoever this message is for you are you are kind of being called to put some kind of to bring peace to a situation all right because there is look some of you there may have been this situation or relationship in your past where like yes it was a it was an ending but it was what created a massive new transformation for you a massive new beginning for you and some of you are being called right now around this time to you know come to a place of forgiveness for whoever you're separated from because some of you are still like energetically tied to this person so look i got a whole lot of motherfucking downloads last night i just wrote all this shit down like <laughs> um but i've also got cards out here so here's the thing i'm talking to a star seed all right you got that sunshine in your pocket. You got that good soul in your feet. All right, tribe, you really got it. Some of your chakras be lit up or they lighten up, right? They all the way up, man. Lit all the way up. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like I'm skipping all of a sudden. But, um, you know, you're also very empathetic individuals. And some of you, look, you... It's not only that you're empathetic. It's like you're very sensitive, okay you're very enigmatic you're very like different maybe hard to crack hard to read or some of you maybe you can turn that on you know turn it on and off whenever you want if you want people to read you they can if you don't want them to they can't right um but yeah there's like a very strong soulmate connection um that some of you are like struggling to release okay so like all the ancestors are saying in this message is it's, it's time to let go and let yourself be free um to heal the old wounds with people and situations and carefully do whatever you need to to make amends because some of you, you you may be called to make amends with someone right to end things on good terms or to give about some kind of closure to a person okay and if it's not that it's just about forgiving yourself and forgiving other people it's time and you don't this collective doesn't need to carry the burden of this relationship that some of you be you know still like energetically connected to because um you're here to bring peace into the world right and for some of you you're about to like you're about to start manifesting okay you're about to start getting visions um you may be you may find that you know your attachment to a person from the past may be blocking some of you from meditating right you know, like this is the thing with the ego and the shadow. When you when you want to sit down and do things, I just saw four twenty. Like maybe something that this card is about like four twenty two, but <laughs> um, but yeah, when you want to sit down and do things to help you elevate and heal, your ego can come into the mix, right? And your shadow, and this is this is how you know it's your shadow because it's like an invisible force, and you don't know why you find yourself doing something or. You know, trying to distract yourself from something when you was just trying to do something to help you elevate, right? <laughs> and and that's how quick it will work. It's very unconscious. The shadow will just come out and sort of 
puppeteer you. The ego will try to get you to move away from wherever the sore spot is or whatever, wherever the pain is, wherever the trigger is, right? But um, this is what you're being called to do right now, tribe. You're being called to... You may have resonated with the last message, but um, it's, it's really important, okay, that, that you release this this um this person this connection with love okay and forgiveness uh because you are an activator okay so this is what i wrote down it was like i am god and i am goddess okay you guys i'm talking about beyond christ consciousness okay it means for you to be an activator it means that you say the right things at the right time you're always exactly where you're meant to be you're always exactly who you're meant to be around <clears throat> because you are an activator, right? So you always know like the right thing to say. You guys, you, some of you can read energy very, very well, okay? And um, <clears throat> you, some of you also initiate a lot of projects. You're very persistent and perseverant in the things that you want to do. And I'm getting that some of you, you have done something or completed something or reached a goal of yours that is helping you to discover your truth right now right so say you separated from somebody or stop doing a habit and it's like you've had more time to understand your own strength the tiger spirit is also very significant in this okay but it's like you guys you you're either learning right now or you've learned to trust in your authenticity okay you've learned how to balance the light and dark sides inside of yourself You've learned to discover your truth and honor your truth and act on your truth and not so much and like, you know, and drown out the noise on the outside at times, right? Or just sift through, like let things sift through your energy field. You know, like one of the best ways to protect your energy field as well is to put filters up around your energy field, especially when you're around a lot of people. But that's the thing for another time. But anyway, um, the question is, you know, guys, like, you, you're about to go through a big third eye activation. Some of you may be having breakouts around here, okay? Some of you, or you're about to be, right? Or you could have pulsing, tingling, um, burning sensation here, like getting hot. Um, and this is happening because your third eye is, is it's turning online. It's, some of you, you got Kundalini energy activating or surging through your third eye, or it's about to start happening, okay? And... Look, this message is a bit all over the place because it's it's like for a very powerful collective that is just sort of struggling to forgive somebody or to let something go. And, you know, there's just so many downloads that came through about this last night that I can't even. So one thing that they mentioned was for some of you, Kung Fu may be significant. OK, say you, you left a relationship, you started doing Kung Fu or OK, some of you may have come out of the closet after it after a significant relationship ended. I don't know why, but I heard um, iTunes or R.I. Tunes. It may be significant. Some of you could be musicians and you started making music after you ended a relationship like this. <laughs> like, I also heard Tesla. Okay, and some of you could be bloggers, writers is what I'm getting. Um, these were just extra confirmations that someone's guides was bringing through last night. Okay. Um, so, yeah. <clears throat> pretty much like your vision is about to become very very clear on what what it is that you want okay it's almost like you're going to be hypnotized by the by the vision that you have i can hear the angels singing right now in my ear okay it's not only that it's like <sighs> it's like um benevolent Okay, this is what I mean. Like, you guys, you got your dark side and your light side working for you. Like, <laughs> you make it make sense in your own way. But this is what's going on. Okay, and for some of you, these are the crystals that they are saying would benefit you guys right now. These are the things that would benefit you right now when it comes to releasing this. And we've got black kyanite, okay, black tourmaline. You can be using the, black, the angelic black flame, which I was talking about um, in my last video. You got black tectite. You want high quality black tectite um, because that's actually a part of Moldavite. So it's not of this world, but it is in it, right? Black tectite is like from the Moldavite clusters. And yeah, it's like the little bits of the meteorite left over, but it's really, really powerful because it's one of the only black crystals that you never have to cleanse. It's a crystal that 
literally absorbs energy into it like a vacuum and you never have to clean it. Whereas, you know, some black crystals, you got to you got to cleanse them, right? Or bury them under the ground for a little while for them, <laughs> for the energy to get cleansed. So on top of that, yeah, spiritual bathing, all right? Like a detox bath, a cleansing bath, um, you know, water, tribe, teas, okay? Like detoxing teas, um, herbs, home-cooked meals and high vibrational foods is what this, someone's guide, right? It's, it's like a whole collective of guides encouraging this collective to to just start like even if it's for three days or something you know what i mean like eating high vibrational foods they started talking to me about fruit salad you know some of you that's something a lot of kids like you know fruit salad your inner child may like fruit salad um or some of you just making a nice salad for yourself could um could really help with your mood around this time as well and help you to transmute whatever this is it's trying to get transmuted because i tell you what for some of you this is a deep karmic soul tie that you have all right, it's some kind of relationship that you're really fucking struggling to get on, get away from, okay, or get over or heal from. And with the Knight of Pentacles, it just tells me that this is, for some of you, this is a situation that's been dragging out, okay, it's been dragging out for some time. And we've got the Four of Cups as well. So somebody could be getting ignored. Maybe you felt rejected by this person or, um, and, and then the Five of Cups, right? Or maybe you're the one rejected this person. Right, and then maybe regretted rejecting them. <laughs> I don't know, but the five of cups, right? <clears throat> this relationship, it's like you're too sensitive to stay in a situation, to stay in, lim in limbo energetically like this. Okay, you're too sensitive because some of you got to cut some cords here or really release something here. All right, so the question is, what are you willing to sacrifice for this new version of yourself? What are you willing to let go of? Because I'll let's sing a little bit of song I'm about to release, okay? In, or, in order to get something, you must give something up. So always count your blessings and be glad for what you got now. No right or wrong direction. No such thing as perfection. And that's the lesson. Greatest of them all. That's a little bit rough, rough, rough. But the point is, in order to get something, right, to, to become this new version of yourself, which some of you, you are really being pushed into. It, it's kind of like you got no choice, okay? There's hidden information coming to the light, not only about yourself, not only about the people around you, okay, but also about like your enemies, your hidden enemies. There's information that's going to be coming to the light. There's information you guys are going to be seeing through, information in the world. Like, it's like you got new eyes to see. Right? I'm serious about this upgrade coming in and and the work that has to be done for it to like come in harmoniously. Um, <clears throat> so the question is, what are you willing to sacrifice? Okay, what are you, what are you going to sacrifice here for your freedom? Okay, because forgiveness, forgiving people that have wronged us, is not about giving them, you know, a whole pass to go and do that again to somebody else. It's about freeing and liberating ourselves from the triggers and the binds that it keeps us in when we are still, um, you know, holding on to that pain and stuff. So I'm just going to, just trying to find this, the meaning of this card. So yeah, this is, this card is also talking about letting go, saying yes to life. It's time to be daring. Okay, it's time to dance to the to the heart to your heart's desires. This is what this is saying. Unfurl your wings and fly. Okay, you know, for some of you, like you holding on to this person is keeping you from from opening your wings and <laughs> and being your true self. Right? It's like they've served their purpose in your life, but it's time to let go. Um, tune into the rhythm of life laugh explore go beyond your predictable behavior this is what you guys are being called to do and your predictable behavior it is going to change very soon because i feel like you're about to be flooded with some kind of download clarity or idea that you're going to need a you're going to want to take action on okay and here's the thing this is what they wrote down last night i wrote down <laughs> Some channels you just can't tune into no matter how hard you try because because of the because you can't because of where you are, either like where you are located or whatever your vibrational frequency is, right? It's like you guys are trying to tune into a station, into a relationship, into someone else's frequency. That it's like you can't tune in no matter how hard you try. You know what I mean? Even if even if you wanna, you know, get readings and 
find out what that person's doing or whatever's going on, you know? This is a really full-on message, but it's for somebody out there, okay? Um, some of you may be really drawn to like martial arts or, or you could do martial arts. But um, <clears throat> yeah, you can't tune in to this person's frequency. You can't tune into this channel. You can't tune into this relationship because it's just not meant to be right now, okay? It's just, it's just not meant to be. And this is a bit forward, but you know, this is what the guides want you to know. You know, and to remember your power, right? You're not gonna, you know, nothing, nothing bad is gonna happen. Nothing's gonna collapse if you release somebody <laughs> that isn't even around you, right? <clears throat> For some of you, these could be wounds that go way deeper, all right? But um, it's just like, yeah, you are, you are both God and Goddess. This is I'm talking to people that are full of love. You know, and I, and I mean unconditional love. And your unconditional love and your empathy for this person from the past could be the thing that is like literally holding you back from spreading your wings and, and becoming your most empowered version of yourself, right? Trying to gain somebody's approval or trying to wait for a message for them or, you know, anything like that. <clears throat> like this is no time. This collective don't have time to be sitting around waiting, you know, to hear from somebody. Okay, because you've got things to do, because of the energy that you embody, all right? This is no joke, <clears throat> because you are an activator, right? So your mere presence, you walk around, there's things you say to people, you always seem to just say the right thing to people, right? And it's like you, it's like you are your higher self walking around, you know? You guys, you may resonate with earth angels. You're like walking karma, right? You're like walking angelic messages. You're walking activators. So even if you feel so comfortable being yourself you have to understand that your energy just simply two words you say to somebody could literally change their life around two two sentences you say to a stranger could change their life around like you guys have this ability to talk to people's higher selves to connect with them right this is who this message is for okay so your higher self is telling you that <clears throat> this ending was a powerful beginning powerful beginning in disguise what you guys changed within yourself after this relationship ended is massive. It's enormous. You can take the time to acknowledge that, right? You've got to, okay? But you also got to acknowledge how much amazing things you've been doing, <laughs> right? <clears throat> and somehow you guys keeping it all balanced and keeping that shit together. So you've become more authentic since this last relationship. Okay, even if it was a friendship, even if it was, you know, a work situation, uh, whatever it is, it's time to let it go. <clears throat> okay, some of you giving your energy to a situation because of, you know, it could be a minor, could be a minor unresolved trauma, you know, a minor seed in the back of your mind, a minor seed in your energy field, you know, <clears throat> it may not be something so big, but this is why you guys are being called to work with these black, uh, black crystals, the black flames, right? Because these are going to help you transmute and suck and absorb lower vibrational energy out of your field. Right? Because this is what we're about to get into and this is where it's going to get exciting is where this is going. You know, like where this is going. <laughs> That's what's the most exciting. <clears throat> so yeah, we've got the third eye. So 3 plus 8 is 11. Okay, so yeah, 11, I'm telling you, 11, 11, you're about to wake up to something, okay? Some of you may already be very woke, you know, you may have solved a lot of riddles, a lot of puzzles already, you know, within your own consciousness, coming back to your oneness, um, but yeah, this is what's coming in, it's justice, tribe. This is justice, okay? Do you see those purple flames there? It's giving violet flame, right? Those purple flames on top of the third eye. That's what I'm saying, right? This color is really standing out to me today. And I, just, I love these eyes. I love how they be looking like that. Because that's, yeah, some of you may have some kind of activation in a, in a meditation or something. You know, something's about to go down. Some kind of energetic justice is about to go down, okay? Some kind of freaking karmic situation is about to be thrown in the violet flame, all right? <laughs> That's what's going on. And I'm not, I'm not kidding, you know? This is a choice that you, you are, <clears throat> you may have been weighing up, you know? Or maybe some of you just been struggling to let go of this person or struggling to just, you know, release it for good 
right? Maybe, maybe there's a part of you that wants to hold on to it, you know, but the truth is you'd be so much more beautiful if you, look, you are beautiful right now. Whoever I'm talking to, you're beautiful right now, but your energy would literally expand so much the moment you let this go, like you release this from your energy field. So you will be even more of your authentic self, right? You guys, you've been, you were contracted with this person to discover something about yourself, whether it was a want, a need, an unmet need, um, could have been desires, right? It could have been anything. You may have learned a skill that you had or have that you didn't know about before, right? There's something you learned or took from this relationship that's very significant and yeah, this is no joke. Some of you, you, you're about to get downloads from the angels, okay? Like straight from the angelic kingdom. I'm telling you right now, like I really feel like you guys, I've done a message like this before <clears throat> and I'm talking about you are like justice for the angels. You know, you guys are really earth angels walking around. You really are. That fell on top of the star seed. I was going to say, bro, some of you are activated star seeds. Like... <laughs> Yes, you are, right? This is confirmation. And, but I feel like if you if you see it, is you already know this, right? You already know this. Um, and then some of you may be discovering this about yourself recently, but, um, you know, part of our mission and part of what we decided to do was to come here and make a lot of fucking sacrifices, you know? We did. A lot of us did. We chose to make a lot of sacrifices. We knew we'd be strong enough to get through it. You know, we knew we'd be able to tap back into our higher selves. We knew we'd be able to anchor ourselves. We knew we'd be able to get this shit done. We knew we'd be able to crack the codes. We knew we'd, we'd remember that we are the keys. That's an activation right there. We knew we'd remember that we are the keys, right? <clears throat> so there's many, there's different star seeds that took on different assignments. And some of us are keys. We are holding keys, okay? And... You may have a very strong connection to that word, right? Like keys, the key, or I am the key, right? And this this could be something that's going to help you guys move forward. Or um, it's almost like that's the thing that helps you stay in balance as well. Like balancing your light and dark side right now. Because you know something. Whoever this collective is, you know something about yourself that, that you don't have to go around telling everybody right but you know it and it makes you very powerful this is this is what gives you your activator abilities as well right you guys are activated star seeds this collective is i can't deny it and you are about to be called to really really work with the angels to bring about some kind of justice guess what gang for the star seeds it's almost crunch time if it ain't already it's, it's almost crunch time from what I can feel, and I can feel that the more action that's taken, the more blessings that are coming, the more rewards that are coming, okay? Like, I can feel there's so many people in the collective that are getting blessed right now, and it's it's raising the motherfucking vibration. Like, <laughs> it's raising the vibration of the planet, and I can, I can literally feel it, <clears throat> right? It doesn't mean that there ain't crabs in a bucket trying to pull everybody's vibration down, right? It doesn't mean that, but for this collective, it's you are here to bring about peace, right? And to, to bring about peace, you must first come to a place of peace within yourself and come to a place of peace when it comes to whoever this person is in your life, right from the past, okay? Acknowledge that you've changed a lot since you met this person. Acknowledge what change they invoked inside of you and do what you need to do with your crystals, in your meditation, in your under the moon, whatever you need to do okay, <clears throat> with your inner child healing, with your shadow work, whatever you need to do to release this relationship, okay, no more looking back at it, right, no more touching the wounds, no more sticking your fingers in the wounds, right, <laughs> you can't be doing that right, okay, because yeah, look, look, some of you are under some kind of energy manipulation on top of it, but this is what I'm saying, you know what I mean, like some of you, you got people that are people beings forces that are trying to like drag you down right this past relationship is one of those things it, it's it's it drags your vibration down this is what i'm saying like when you guys could be bringing about peace in the world right catalyst for world peace you know what i'm saying but some of you are you know getting manipulated because of the because if there's any weak points in your field you can either, you can be manipulated through those points so 
This is why healing is so important. This is why healing actually makes you unbreakable. It makes you invincible in a way. But mostly because you can see through things, right? Some of you, you're going to notice people. You're going to notice people like shapeshifters, all right? Or shapeshifting. You may be seeing this a lot more in the near future, like literally shapeshifting in front of your face. I literally just felt like my jaw felt like it was like coming out like this <laughs> just then. So, yeah, that, that, like that was happening for a reason. Maybe some of you have seen shapeshifters, okay? Um, but yeah, you know, you got some of you, you got motherfuckers that are in competition with you that are, are doing black magic, right? Some of you, this person from your past could be in a, in a competition with you and they're doing magic to manipulate you to... You know, or they're doing energy manipulation to manipulate you into staying attached to their energy. You need to understand how valuable your energy is, okay? This is what this message is for. You need to understand how valuable your energy is because you're an activator. Need I remind you, you are royalty, okay? Need I remind you, you are both God and you are Goddess. Simultaneously, you are your twin flame union. You are not here to be deceived by the spiritual community, Okay, you guys have discernment for a reason and your gifts are about to upgrade. There's something that's seriously about to unlock. It's almost sickening for some of you. This, I need to tell you this, like, it's almost sickening, the blessings that are coming in for some of you. Um, for some of you, this is by the end of this year, okay, and some of you next year. But it, it's almost like this is going to make people sick, like, to see, like, like it's going to trigger them, in other words. It's going to trigger jealousy. Why, what, what does a low vibrational feeling feel like? It feels like a slow, sluggish energy. And that's what your gut does or your solar plexus does when you're around somebody that's no good for you, right? That's what your sacral chakra does when you're around someone. It starts vibrating like really slow because it's warning you there's energy around that person that doesn't align with you, right? For some of you, you know, you may have the ability to manipulate energy, right? But you don't, you're not using that to manipulate people's free will. You know what I'm saying? Some of you, you got a motherfucker out there that's really, really trying to manipulate your free will, right? And just that in general could be very frustrating for you because you know what they're doing right <clears throat> but here's the thing it's time it's time for you to just remember that you were an activator in their life okay it's okay it's going to be okay because this person activated something in you so this is what life is all about it's really just about going around and activating each other sometimes we go around and activate each other's darkness or shadows or repressed desires repressed aspects of ourselves so that it can come to the surface so that we can deal with it but this has to be done with conscious awareness you know what i'm saying it has to be done with, like with the intent of actually healing these things and if you're seeing this message you're already on a certain wavelength where you know how to navigate through your emotions or you know that healing your traumas and stuff <clears throat> is it changes your life around right it changes your destiny like it really does and you're very important to the angelic kingdom. Whoever I'm talking to, you are very, very important to them. And they see, some of you, you need to know that even the angels see that someone is trying to manipulate your motherfucking energy because they're in competition with you. But I'm telling you right now, this is why you guys need to be the bigger person here. This person is never going to fold for some of you. This is what I'm saying. Like, they ain't going to fold. They ain't going to budge. They ain't going to let you have the last laugh or whatever right this is someone for some of you very arrogant very crazy with power hungry for power right <clears throat> loves to manipulate things loves to manipulate people okay some of you are getting ignored by somebody intentionally right and this is it's one of the hardest things like i can even tell you from my own personal experience it's one of the hardest things to let go of somebody like especially without closure or before you're ready to let go of them right but I'll tell you what, even if you don't feel ready to let go of somebody, you are seeing this message in divine timing on this day at this exact moment because you are ready. You are ready to let it go. Okay? You are you are more than ready to let it go. Okay? Because you can't tune into this person's frequency. You can't tune into their channel. You can't even hear this person. They're static. This person is barely even on your vibration. You know what I'm saying? Like they ain't. You guys have very different energies. Okay. 
for share. You know, <clears throat> if anything, you some of you are really being called to meditate. Um, you know, maybe with one of your crystals or with a nice tea or meditate in the bath or, you know, something has to happen here, <laughs> tribe. Transmutation has to happen. If you're energy workers working with the white light, working with that black, that black flame, I'm telling you, it's something that could really change everything around for you, okay? Because I'm telling you, tribe, like you have so many blessings coming in. You have so much justice coming in. It ain't even funny. And it's going to make these haters sick. It's going to make whoever, for some of you, if you've got people trying to manipulate your energy, trying to, trying to hang on to your energy, right? I'm telling you, it's going to make these people sick. It, like some of you are coming into success that is going to make you like back backtrack a little bit and be like, oh, I think I need a seat. <laughs> like, like I'm dead serious, tribe. I'm dead serious. The sun, I'm telling you, it's just growth, expansion. This is what's coming in for you. Expansion, not only, not only of your consciousness, but also in your careers, in your, in your lives, right? Some of you got children as well that you know for some of you this could even be a child like one of your children or something that you you're trying to get you're trying to forgive them you know <clears throat> but believe me when i say like the the energy that's going on here is so intense because it's it's wild it's like the the brighter you shine like this is the sun right and the sun's like getting brighter and brighter and and it's just like this all these attacks like coming all these things trying to latch on right <laughs> right all these all these astral and energetic ticks and parasites trying to latch onto your energy field all these entities they're trying to latch onto your energy field so this is why it's important for you guys to eat high vibrational food it's also important for you guys to um <clears throat> like keep up your spiritual hygiene right now you know keep your vibrations Keep your vibrations steady and high. Um, it doesn't mean you can't do things, you know, that whatever you want to do, you know, for fun, whatever. But it's like you guys, I'm telling you, your energy is so freaking authentic. that It's like, oh, oh my God. I'm telling you, like so many people are going to be so pissed off at this collective. But there's also a lot of celebration coming. And I'll tell you where the main celebration, where it matters the most, okay? Where it matters the most is what is what is happening in the angelic realm. They are the ones that are about to be celebrating you tribe, right? <clears throat> Recognition, all of that, it may come in the 3D, but I'm telling you, it's the angels that are the ones that are the most proud of you tribe. N not even your parents on the planet, not, not your parents. Your parents okay, aren't even as proud as you as the angels are. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm telling you tribe. Your partner, your partner, your, whoever it is in your life, they, they can't possibly be as proud of you as the angels are, and especially of about what you're about to create, okay? Because whatever you guys are being guided to do or take steps toward, this is something you you signed up to do with the angels before you even came here. This is what I'm saying, tribe. And it's crunch time. You know what I'm saying? It's crunch time. So what it means is crunch time is it means it's time to get the burden off your back. Get the leech off your back. Take it off. Okay? Take it off. Let it go. It's time to release. It's time to purge. Okay? Because, yes, you guys are very... Like I'm saying, you you will be the ones to initiate projects or, like, you know, do things. Like, you're like a motivator. Some of you could be, like, motivators or influencers. But you have so much strength. This is what your guys want you to know. The angels want you to know. You have so much strength. And they just know that you have to make a sacrifice here. For some of you, this sacrifice is so, it's not as big as you think it is, right? Some of you may be like just holding on to a situation that's karmic just because it's entertaining. <laughs> you know what I mean? But guess what? And try entertaining the angels. Try entertaining your higher self and let this go and see what happens. Watch what happens. Because you've already done something. You already did it. You did it. You did it. You did it. All oh, there's stars everywhere. <laughs> It's stars everywhere. And the angels are already so happy with where you're at, tribe. They're already so happy. It's just that they see you trying to use your empathy and your sensitivity to care about a person and understand a person and their, and their poor behavior, right? 
or they're manipulative tendencies and manipulate like that. Some of them really be out there doing magic, you know, black magic. It's going back to them. This is what you need to know. It's all it's all reversing straight back to them. Okay, but I'm hearing, yeah, some of you they could be getting done for fraud. All right, and then we got success. Okay. So yeah, maybe for some of you, there's someone that is like fraudulent, that's very successful, um, and they're your ex, right? Or someone you dealt with in the past. It could have been work-related, but I'm telling you, it's, it's all about these codes, okay? And maybe they ghosted you, right? You take what resonates, but their magic is going back to them, right? Maybe someone tried to take your success codes, okay? Whatever's going on here, they're getting get done for fraud. They're going to get done to fraud. Okay. And yeah, it's like this is just about setting boundaries with yourself too. Because I can sense it's like a ball of energy around the, around the uh, sacral chakra for whoever I'm picking up on. It's like a ball of energy around the sacral chakra that some of you just need to talk to your energy field, right? You just need to talk to yourself, talk talk to your body. Like, like, like just see what happens. Okay, like some of you, you do. you got somebody spying on you and all that shit. But you know what? At the end of the day, you are just an activator in this person's life, right? You got to accept that. You got to accept that. But this person can't serve anything for you anymore except low vibrational karmic energy. So <clears throat> it's like you're being called to really choose to ascend. You're being called to really just face whatever this is, get through it, like push through it and get to get to the other side. Because what's on the other side, I'll tell you, it's like I'm just seeing this room of angels just congratulating you walking here like, oh, I did it. I completed the soul contract. Right? Like... I did it, and they all—they're all clapping with you while you walk, <laughs> while you floating back up to the astral, right? They, the whole line of them, like, yeah, yeah, they did it, you know? Like, it's—it's it's seriously that serious. And to be honest, I feel like for whoever this collective is, that working with the angels is very important to you. <clears throat> it's very important for your soul purpose, and. Yeah, it's like whatever your soul is like here to do is contracted to do. It's like there's this this relationship or this person is like blocking that from happening. So it's not about sitting here and saying it's their fault that you haven't got things done, right? It's not about doing that. It's about forgiving yourself for any guilt and shame that you may be carrying around not doing something already at this point. Okay, it's okay to start again. It's okay. You, you can't get this wrong, all right? And... Um, yeah, I forgot. <laughs> I forgot what I was going to say. But yeah, try me. You know, some of you are up against a, a bully or a spiritual bully, and it's no cap. You know what I mean? But what's also no cap is like the power that you hold. You got to understand, like you guys have, you have energy inside of you that is enough to shift so many people's lives, right? And the angels know that. The angels know you have truths that could break down systems, <laughs> break shit down, right? Literally bust the systems. And that's what we're here to do, aren't we, starseeds? That's what we're here to do. So for you to step into this highest calling of yours, and, that, and you know what? It means sacrifice. It means letting go of particular versions of yourself as well, maybe habits and things that you like to do. But, you know, you may miss certain parts of your old self or miss people from the past, but... I'm telling you, what's coming in the future and who you're becoming is so much better and bigger than any fucking bullshit from the past. All right, child. All right. No matter how hard that, no matter how hard you guys, some of you were waiting for a commitment from someone as well. Okay, this is what you've been waiting for. Maybe you've been keeping tabs on someone. All right. And no, this could have been what happened. All right, but you were dealing with someone emotionally unavailable. Okay, these people, and some of you are still holding on to it. What I'm saying is these people, these karmics, these people that are triggering this collective, this, they're doing it so that you don't ascend, right? And then you don't help a whole bunch of other people ascend. You've got to understand that. Like your power, your activator power, okay? 
your divine union that's happened inside of you, all right? You can't let a tiny little thing like this, and it is tiny in the grand scheme of things, hold you back from fulfilling something that has taken you thousands and thousands and thousands of years to organize, to complete, okay? Some of you have been through so many incarnations just to be here in this lifetime, to do what you are here to do in this lifetime. I, I cannot make this up. I cannot make this up. Like, you have done a lot of preparation in your soul, okay? So this person you have some kind of soul tie with, there's some sort of, you know, person that's meant to be in your life, right? But they've served their purpose. Now, maybe some of you met this person. I'm getting like the year... I don't know why, but I just saw 2040. That's so weird, even though it said 4040. So the year 2040 could be, I don't know, some of you may be able to predict into 2040 or you've seen something, maybe a dream in 2040. Something about that. Someone could be writing a book about 2040. The 20th or the 4th could be significant. Could be someone's birthday. I think that's January, February, March. April, yeah, the 4th of April. Um, and also the 4th of February is significant too. So, so yeah, tribe, um, I hope this gets to who it's for. Okay. Because like, yeah, you've discovered so much truth about yourself and it's just time to really accept that. Look at all these massive confirmation births. <laughs> um, it's just time to accept that and, and keep it pushing with your mission, okay, with your divine mission. Because if you're seeing this message, you have a divine mission that you're here to complete, okay? And some motherfucking selfish archon for some of you is obsessed with siphoning your energy. But guess what? It's time for you to stop giving that person your power, okay? Understand that you did your job for them. And now it's time for you to do your job for yourself. And that job for yourself is forgive, release, let go, transmute. See you later. Here to fucking do bigger and better things than entertain archons and low vibrational entities and people. Okay? Here to do bigger and better things than that. I'm bigger and better than that. I'm evolved past that. Drop that shit down in the comments, tribe. I'm evolved. I'm evolving. All right? I'm evolving for the greater good of all. I'm evolving for the greater good of all. That's what's going on, tribe. You guys are evolving. So, yeah, and just FYI, for those of you who have this motherfucker doing magic on you, they're going to go in debt, all right? This person is like, shit is going bad for these people <clears throat> that are messing with the chosen ones like this, all right? It's going bad no matter how it appears on the outside. Don't let these archons, don't let these trickster spirits, don't let them fool you, don't let them trick you. Right? Don't let them deceive you with their Delulu shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, Trevor? Fucking blast the black flame. Blast the white flame. Come on, let's go. You know I love you. Peace to the cosmic tribe. Probably love you so much. Take care and happy full moon, you beautiful soul.